Hi everybody, hope you're okay. Um, you would have seen recently in a video of mine that I had a Wi-Fi installation here in the caravan. Upon where a mobile router was installed in the caravan, a hole was drilled in the roof and an external antenna was added in. One particular person who watched that video was the managing director of Falcon Technology. Now they're a uh, family run business from the north of England. So he did say to me, great video, great product, great solution. But what about for those people who cannot have an external antenna fitted on their caravan or motorhome? You see, we were very lucky. We were able to fit it here in the top corner, but other people may not be so lucky. There may be things on the roof in the way. There also may be the construction to consider on the caravan itself. And also if you put a hole in the caravan roof, there as dubious questions to be asked about the warranty. So he mentioned to me that he has a product which may be able to answer all those points. So before I show you the product, let's discuss the reasons why an external antenna is the better solution. MiFi's like these all need to do exactly the same job. They need to send and receive data through the Wi-Fi connection here inside the leisure vehicle. And then on top of that, they need to transmit that information or that data back and forward to the local phone mast. Now, mobile routers like these sit inside the caravan or motorhome, and that's perhaps the biggest problem. You see, the construction of the caravan and also the position of where you place these plays a large part into how much signal they can get from the phone mast. So how do you improve the phone signal without drilling a hole and installing an external antenna in the router? Well, the easy solution is to mount the entire thing on the outside of the caravan. And that's exactly what this product from Falcon can do. So let me show you exactly what we get in the box. Firstly, we get a user manual detailing the setup and installation. Then in the box is the 4G router, which has a couple of mounting options. Firstly, suction mounts for ease of installation on a vehicle side or window. And another way is to use the cable tie for mounting it to a mast or post for higher elevation. To power the router, two options are included, a 12 volt DC lead and a 230 volt AC adapter. And then finally, the two external antennas are also included. A closer look at the router shows the two SMA antenna connections on the top. And as I mentioned, there are two ways to mount this. Using the multi-purpose mounting plate, we can install suction cups, or as I mentioned, mount the router to a pole. All the connections are held under a cover, giving the entire router IP65 weather resistant rating. Removing that cover shows the router has two Ethernet ports, a SIM slot and the power connection. And if required, there's also a reset switch here too. On the side of the router are five notches, which when switched on, give a quick indication of the status of the router. So that's everything that we need in the box. In the fact, the only thing we need to supply is a data SIM. Now, many of you will be aware that I use Sky Mobile and that's exactly what we're going to use today. So let's get it set up and get it installed. First off, remove the cover from the router and insert the SIM card. It's a standard size SIM and will only fit one way. Then, depending on your needs, use either the 12 volt or the 230 volt adapter and connect using the power lead to the router and replace the cover. Finally, install the two antennas, plug the router into a power source and allow it to boot up. After a short time and with some activity on the status indicators, you should see two solid green LEDs on the side of the router. When you do, search for the Falcon 4G Wi-Fi network from your phone, tablet or desktop. Enter the password, details of which are documented in the user manual and also on the back of the unit. Right, so I've installed the suction cups here on the back of the router and we're now ready to go and install it. Now where I'm going to install it is on the right hand side of the caravan, away from the awning. Awning is that side. That means that I can get this as high as I possibly can. The antennas can protrude above the roof line here as well. And it also means that I have a power outlet here in the kitchen. And uh, I think that's going to be the best place for it. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half now since the last time I saw you. Um, I've been using it quite extensively. So what have I really done? Okay, so I brought my laptop here with me today. I've been doing some emails. Um, I've also watched a lot of YouTube clips. I've been streaming a few things just to see if it could stream without any issues. I've done so many TikToks, I'm embarrassed to tell you how many I've done. Um, and generally, I've been doing a few things online. My laptop at the moment is doing an update. It's installing some software and I'm also browsing the internet at the same time. So I'm trying to understand that it can handle two things doing fairly busy traffic uh, at the same time. And it, and it seems to be holding up. 
Now it's all very well me sat here telling you it works really well. What we actually need to do is compare it to what I already have here in the caravan, just to see if it is working as we would expect. So I've done a couple of speed tests. I've done one on the Falcon. I've used exactly the SIM card and I've tried to use exactly the same uh, server provider on the speed test that we've done. So let's just go through some of those results right now. Now the thing about these results is I tried to do two or three results per device, but there is such a violent swing between the results on one device I'm taking these results with a pinch of salt, but what I am going to tell you is that by and large, they both respond and they both behave about the same. They range between eight and 11 megabits per second coming down, and they range anything from four to 13 going up, and that's across both devices. By and large, they behave about the same. So that means that for the expense that I went through to have this installed, you can probably get exactly the same results with the Falcon doing it yourself and putting it on the outside of your caravan. And the other thing to consider is the cost of the Falcon. It's about half for what I paid on the system I have here in the caravan. So by and large, I'm very, very happy with it. Now, there are a couple of things I need to mention to you. First of all, the length of the power cables. I think they're a little bit short. I'm extremely lucky that I can use the power outlet here in the kitchen. However, if we were to go off grid and I wanted to use 12 volts, I'd be absolutely stuffed. I have no 12 volt outlet here on this side of the caravan. It's on that side of the caravan and I wouldn't want to use the device on that side because I'd have no way of getting the cables out at all. So what I really need is a nice long cable that I can use all the way around here to go outside. Now I've spoken to the team at Falcon and they are currently conjuring up an accessory pack to complement this 4G router and that is a mounting kit where they can explore different avenues of mounting the device to the outside of a caravan. Even have it so that you can mount it inside as well if you really want to. But that being said, the cables themselves are standard fittings. It's a 5.5 mil jack and you can get those extension cables pretty much anywhere. And you can get them five, six, 10, 20 meter long if you so need to. So my final thoughts, how do I think about the device? It's very affordable and it's super easy to install, get up and start going. So if you're not technically minded, don't panic, this is the piece of kit for you. I have absolutely no need for this piece of kit because I've already got a solution in place here in the caravan. But I've got a very dear friend who lives on a boat and we were discussing all things internet connectivity whilst, you know, on, on, the, on the boat. And he has mentioned to me that anything that involves the word marine, you basically slap a 200 quid price tag on top of the asking price of any product. So I mentioned this to him, he's very interested in seeing if it will work on a boat. So I'm going to uh, hand it over to him, he's going to install it on the boat, we're going to do some tests and we're going to see if it will work. We're probably going to use the pole fitting so it can fit on a pole and get some elevation away from the water and we're going to see how it works whilst he's on uh, the canals going up and down the country. So look out for that in the future. I don't know if I'll feature it on this channel, I'll be honest with you, um, because it's not really going to be really caravan related. But what I might do is follow up with a blog on our website. So that's it from me today. Now I've put a link to this product down in the description below, along with the Falcon website and a link to some other products as well, which they have on their website. If you have a requirement, if you have a need and you're a little bit, I'm not sure what I need here, give them a call. They're a family-based company in the north of England. They're very, very helpful. So why not give them a call and give them your requirements? So that's it from me today. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon. And if you can do all of that, then I'll see you in the very next upload. Many thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.